let's imagine a scenario where you worked on a very uh, big project and you generated this very large RMD file. You could have generated the RMD file either via initiating the R notebook or the R markdown. And now you decided that you want to convert this large RMD file into an R script. And you can do that with one command in R. So normally your RMD file is saved in the working directory that you're currently re residing. In my case, this is on the desktop single cell RNA seq analysis. To convert this RMD file into an R script, I simply have to open a new R script. So from file, new file, then R script. And within this document, I should only paste one command. So we are going to use the Perl function from the NIT R package. And as a first argument, we need to specify the name of the RMD file that we want to convert into an R script. The second argument is documentation. In my case, I set it to two because I don't want only to obtain the R script. I also want to obtain the commands first in the RMD document and second into the R chunks. So when I execute this line of code, uh, I already did it. So you have to um, press run here. Uh, it takes around 30 seconds, depending on the size of your RMD file. In the working directory, you are going to obtain an R script that has exactly the same base name as your RMD file. And I'll show you how it looks. So you can see that everything that we don't need except the need our option chunks argument is commented out and only the um, parts of the code that are actually executing of R commands are preserved. So it is that simple.